Hello and welcome back. In this short video, I'm gonna show you how to make your own leather pouch for your glasses. Let's start from cutting out the pattern. You can find it uh, free of charge on our website. This is beginner's friendly project and no experience is needed. You can start your leather work journey with this. I use corner cutting tools as usual for my uh, project. But also you can use a rotary cutter or utility knife to do it. This time we're gonna go for very nice blue color with white stitching. I hope you will like it. As usual we're gonna use a veg tan leather. It's gonna be a two millimeters thick. In here we apply a leather dye, oil dye to be precise, with wool dye, but you can use cotton uh, cosmetic pads as well if you on a budget. For the best effect we use two or sometimes even three layers of the dye. To speed up drying process we use heat gun on quite low settings. You can use also hair dryer, it will give you the same effect. Add the second layer and then we can apply a finish. Just remember, before you apply the finish, make sure your leather is completely dry. So it's better to leave it drying overnight. For the flesh side, we use a moss back. So the internal part is nice and slick. The way to apply it is to apply it with a brush and then uh, wait till it's nearly completely dried and polish it with edge slicker or piece of wood. When we finish all chemical processes, you can start doing the edges. On the top layer, you can go all the way around. On the inside, on the flash side, do only the top part where uh, the glasses will go through. And that part we're gonna finish now before we do the stitching. It's easier to finish it before the stitching. Use a little bit of a sandpaper on the top edge and then we can apply to Konoha. Now it's time to fold the glass case for the first time. Now use compass tool in here to mark where the glue should go. And then we apply the glue with a brush. When you apply the glue, just give it a bit of time. It sticks better to it when it's a little bit dry. Then fold the case together and use a little bit of bone creaser or you can use our roller to get better effect with the glue. When you glue it all together use some sandpaper to sand the edges and we're gonna start using toconol on all the rest of the edges. If you like what you see so far please hit the like button and share this video or subscribe to our channel to see more videos with leather work. After finishing all the edges, it's time to use compass tool again to mark where the stitching line will go. What I usually do at the end and at the beginning of the stitching line, I put uh, one rivet. So I punch those holes first. 
then you stitching line prongs to punch out all the holes for the stitches. It's good to have two sizes of uh, stitching prongs because uh, on the corner we use the number two. Now it's time to do some stitching. Joe is using saddle stitch technique. You start from the third hole, you go backwards and continue forward. If you're using stitching pony, it's good to have your leather quite low so it doesn't bend when you're stitching it. And remember, be consistent with your movement. It will give you a nice and straight line. As you can see, it's quite a simple project. You can complete it within a half an hour. But obviously, if you die later, it's gonna take you more time. When you get to the end of the stitching line, uh, do the same as you've done it on the beginning. Go back to holes and then cut it and then do it light to create little bubbles on the end of the thread so it doesn't go loose with the time. And the last step in here is to put rivets on both sides of the stitching line and then have a look on the final effect thanks for watching and see you soon